Yep. I'm naked. I can go... Oh, that's the limit there. That's nipple territory. Is it just me or is it a bit nippy out? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nadia and every week I get super real about sex and in case you hadn't noticed, today I'm getting extra real in the form of not wearing any clothing. <laughs> and it actually started because a subscriber made a bit of a crack about something I was wearing. They'd commented on the fact that I had been wearing the same top for nearly every video that I shot. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. The reason I've been wearing the same clothes for basically all of my videos is because I'm on antidepressant medication and over the past year I've gained 15 kilos Australian. I don't know what that is in pounds. I think it's like 30 pounds. And so none of my clothes fit me anymore. And today I sort of thought in my head a bit jokingly to myself, ah, oh, fuck it, I'll just go naked. And then I thought, actually, you know what? That's a really good topic for today's video because I actually have a really lot of thoughts on the subject of women's naked bodies and specifically the subject of women being topless. I'm sure you've noticed there is a slight double standard in our society in which men can be shirtless whenever and wherever they want and women can't because we have nipples and apparently those are quite offensive. Hence why my nipples are not in this shot and why in a recent Instagram post I was wearing a bra that showed my nipples and I actually had to go to the effort of photoshopping my nipples out, which is crazy. It's crazy because if you look at a female nipple and then you look at a male nipple, they're not really that different. So why is the female nipple considered so offensive and inappropriate for public consumption? Because we sexualize women's bodies so much. Now you guys know I'm sex positive and so I'm all for, you know, sexualization. That's great. But the difference in being a man and being a woman, certainly from my personal experiences of being a woman and from talking to other women, is that we don't really get a choice as to when we're sexualized. A man can take his shirt off and hang out at the beach or go for a jog and for the most part he's not going to get sexualized. Now I often don't wear a bra and even just not wearing a bra and still having a shirt on, I have been sexualized, I've been catcalled, I've had people lean out of their car and whistle at me and I've even had people in professional scenarios make comments about the way my breasts looked. While on one hand we're saying that female nipples poking through a shirt are highly distracting at work, that we don't apply the same to men. So, you know, when the aircon's on high, I can see my male co-workers' nipples poking through their business shirts and I can still get on with my work. The real issue here isn't to do with being seen as sexy. In fact, I think you'll find a lot of women enjoy being seen as sexy or at least feeling sexy in themselves. The issue is the fact that the female body is typically seen, especially socially, through the male gaze. And that means that we look at it in terms of its sexual attractiveness. So unlike a man, a woman can't just be topless or naked without being seen in a sexual way. Women's bodies are actually censored in pornography magazines where men's bodies aren't. There's an actual rule in Australian pornography magazines that basically insists labia on a woman be photoshopped out so that women's vulvas only appear as a single crease, which is otherwise known as the Barbie or the clamshell vagina or vulva, whatever you want to call it. And unsurprisingly, ever since that happened, there's also been a surge in the amount of women going and seeking out cosmetic surgery on their labia to have the size and the shape of their labia reduced. Because we don't get to see what that looks like because it's considered too gratuitous, much in the same way that female nipples have been seen. So I really strongly support the free the nipple movement and I know there's gonna be a million silly comments on this video saying, I support you too, get your nipples out. But 
If you're supporting me to get my nipples out so that you can sexualize me, you've kind of missed the point. What I want to say is that it's great to be sexy, it's great to feel sexy, and I don't personally have a problem with a man telling me in a polite way that he finds me sexually attractive. What I have a problem with is the constant sexualization so that a woman can never be showing any skin without it being considered to be sexual. So I want to issue a challenge to those of you who are brave enough to try and that is to make it to the end of this video without leaving a sexually suggestive comment. To actually look at my body as just a body and not as a sexual object. And guys, I know that's hard to do because You've pretty much been told your whole life that women's bodies are sexual objects. And I want to say there's nothing wrong, absolutely nothing wrong with finding a woman sexually attractive. But there's a difference between finding a woman physically attractive and sexually objectifying her through the way you speak to her. And if you're not subscribed yet, then really, what are you doing? Go ahead and click that subscribe button to have more of this real, crazy, potentially naked sex content coming to you every single week. And if you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. That is all for today, guys. I will see you next time. Mwah. It is it is great to just let the girls just be free and just do their thing. That's all I'm going to say on that.